Hello, I'm Carolyn Leah, the Director of Christian Discipleship at Beulah Presbyterian Church. And today we are going to hear another Knowing Place story. This story is about the day of Pentecost. And so today we will have some time at the end to wonder again in God's word. So let's hear the story. Today, we are hearing the story of Pentecost. The color for Pentecost is red. It is a time when we remember how God gave the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we can say and we can do the same wonderful things that Jesus did. It happened after Jesus went away. The people of God were in Jerusalem to celebrate the great Thanksgiving feast called Pentecost. They came from every country. Jesus' friends came too. They were still waiting for the gift God had promised to send. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, a sound like a mighty wind filled the whole entire room. And what looked like flames of fire came to rest on each one of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were so excited. They began to tell the amazing things God did. They told about Jesus. And that God had raised Jesus from the dead and made Jesus alive again. The people from all different countries could understand them. They heard in their own language. What should we do? They all asked. Peter told them. Change your ways. Be 
baptized and made clean and new and you will receive God's Spirit. God's promise is for you and for your children and everyone that God calls. I wonder what it felt like to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt as they told the amazing things about God. I wonder how the people felt when they were baptized and they received the Holy Spirit. I wonder how they knew it was the Holy Spirit. I wonder what all these people will do now that they have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit. I wonder if you have been baptized, what it was like on the day that you were baptized. And you received God's Holy Spirit. I wonder what the Holy Spirit wants us to do with God's gifts. I wonder for those people who have not been baptized yet, there is an excitement and a wondering of what it would be like to be baptized and to receive God's Spirit. Hmm. I wonder what God's Holy Spirit is going to ask us to do and what amazing stories about God we can share with others. Thanks for wondering with me, my friends. This is an exciting story, one of a special gift that God gives the gift of his Holy Spirit. Be well.